Coming to you live from Brentwood, California, Shelly Show and Tell. Now, here's Shelly. You're too kind. You're too kind. Oh, that was fun. Thank you. <laughs> You're going to be a fun group. Okay, well, as you can tell, I like to have fun when we're learning. So, welcome to Shelley's Show and Tell. And thank you for taking your Sunday to come spend with me. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, this is not a lecture. I don't want to just stand up here in front of you and talk all day long. This is a discussion. This is an interaction. I want you to ask questions. I want you to make comments, okay? And to encourage you to do that, we're going to do something today that is like a raffle. You know when you go to parties and they have raffle tickets, but you buy those raffle tickets when you, when you come in the door? No, you're going to earn those raffle tickets today. And you're going to earn them by asking good questions, maybe answering a question that I don't know, um, making good comments, laughing at my silly little jokes, things like that. So anybody watching this video out there, you, I'll have you listen to the whole audio before you actually watch the video of this workshop. Okay, so who, who did their homework and listened to my audio? Really? <laughs> You're just saying that, right? I listened to the whole thing, okay. Thank you. We'll give you all raffle tickets later because we want to stand here and hand them all out. Okay, I have some questions. Now, I don't want you to just blurt the answers out, okay? Just raise your hand and then I'll pick somebody to answer that question. What cosmetic counter did I work for at Macy's? Oh, your hand went right up. Oh, you worked for, at Macy's with um, Clinique. Clinique. <laughs> Ticket. <laughs> um, what was the first surgery I saw at a dermatology office? Correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, right after I graduated and I got my license, I got a do job at a dermatology office. The doctor took me to lunch, and when I was there at lunch with him, what did he say to me? What? <laughs> <laughs> At lunch, a weekend of being, well, not even a weekend of being there, he says to me, okay, we'll let you be here a little bit longer, and then we'll start dating. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what was the name of my first skincare center? Ooh. Silence. I got, I got half of it. She said pure reflections. Skin No. We'll give it here. It's personal reflections. Oh, personal. Close enough, close enough. What was the first big business mistake that I made? Yeah, remember the fast talking sales guy came in and I, I paid $950 to get the, the advertisement on the back of the receipt? Ooh, was that a big, big, big mistake. Okay. Yes, down, down the drain. Um, at the plastic surgeon's office, I worked out one day a week doing microderm treatments. How much did we charge for that treatment and how long was the treatment? I think 250. Okay. And how long was it? How? 15 minutes. Okay. Two toy tickets here. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, split in half. <laughs> so, yeah, we did microderm, this is back in the 90s, microdermabrasion treatments for. $250 and it took 15 minutes to do. And I would do 14 to 16 a day. It was absolutely amazing back then. Absolutely amazing. Okay. Here we go. Nate and I got caught up at the Las Vegas skincare show to the tune of $15,000 the first time I took him to a trade show. What did we purchase? A hydro Yes. <laughs> they saw us coming. <laughs> he had never been to a trade show before. So first of all, he's like, oh my world, <laughs> what kind of, you know, what do you, what is this job you do? He didn't understand all this. And then we take him there and there's these two hydro massage beds. I've never seen them before. And they kind of tell us about it and we both lay down on them. The jets start going up and down. It's really warm. 
It's like a few minutes go on and we both turn at the same time and looked at each other and said, oh, I've got to have this. <laughs> Credit card, $15,000, just like that. Oh, I actually wish when I sold that business I would have taken it with me to use at home, but I left it there. I was going to ask, did you use it with did. your client? We did. Oh, oh yeah, that's a whole other story. <laughs> that's actually when Nate started working with me about 16 years ago when we got the Hydra Massage bed. So he would, we'd put headsets on him. We had an oxygen bar, so we'd hook him up to oxygen, and then he'd stand down. Now, you can just set it to go, mm, 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 right? But he'd sit down there, and he, if you say it was a lower back, and so he'd be like, because he's a musician, right? So he'd be like, mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah. They, <laughs> it was fabulous. Okay, I got a phone message that was kind of weird. I thought I was being punked, so I deleted it. Who was that call from? Let's get somebody who hasn't answered something yet. Someone asking you to be on like a radio show. Yeah, Winston from Voice America. Winston, what are you calling me for? Yeah, that was a pretty amazing. That's how I got started doing my radio show. Everybody put your thinking hats on. 1988, I got my aesthetic license. I was 28 years old. How old am I now? <laughs> Everybody gets their phones out and their calculators. <laughs> this happened at the last couple of shows too, don't worry about it. <laughs> Why do I want you to know how old I am, right? <laughs> oh, 58 and a half, you're good. You got a toy ticket over here. <laughs> good. Okay. The reason I really want you to know my age is I want everyone to go, ooh, she looks really good for her age, right? <laughs> No. The reason I want you to know that is I want you to know you can be a little bit older in this industry, right? And actually, when I was in my 30s in this industry, I used to lie about my age older. Now, how many women actually lie older? Because I felt like I would be more credible if I was a little bit older, right? So I just want you to know you can also be in this industry for 30 years and still be just as excited about it. It's ever-changing. It's so much fun. If you get bored, shame on you. It's your fault because there are so many new things to learn in this industry, so many avenues to take. And that's why I wanted you to listen to that audio too to see that I had no idea when I started that I would be standing here now, that I would be doing what I'm doing. No idea whatsoever. So keep an open mind, okay? You want to start talking about toys? Yes. Okay, first of all, I want to introduce you to somebody else who lives here. Aww. <laughs> He's at Pets <laughs> Fry. He's at F Pets Frolic Inn today, having a play date, and then going to the spa and getting a bath and his nails done before he's delivered back here this afternoon. And we call him Bionic Bentley because he just had double knee surgery in his back legs and he has metal plates in his back legs. So now he's Bionic. So, so you'll get to meet him this afternoon. Okay, let's talk about toys. First of all, let's talk about why I call them toys. Because it's fun, <laughs> right? They're a lot of fun to, to play with these toys. Now, when I have a new client that comes in, do I say, let's see what toy I'm going to play with you today? No, right? I'm going to be professional. I actually got an email a few years ago from an esthetician who said, she, she was very serious in this email, I would like you to please stop calling these toys because this is, we are professionals. And you know, I mean, it just went on and on and on. <laughs> And I would really appreciate it. And I'm like, ooh, you need to lighten up, you know. Um, <laughs> thank you very much, but mm-mm. <laughs> I know when and when not to call them toys. Now, to you guys, I'm going to because I think we want to have fun with this. I think also if we're a little lighter with our clients, too, they're a little more attracted to us. There's an, there's an energy attraction that happens. If we're so serious about it, I don't think I've always been the most um, technical esthetician over the over my 30 years, right? But I've always had a really busy business because I just have maybe that childlike energy that people are attracted to. So find where your place is with that. Maybe you're not a childlike energy, but find where that, that sweet spot is that makes you feel comfortable connecting with people because that's what our business is really all about is connecting with people, okay? So we're gonna call them toys today. Anybody have a problem with that? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Okay, this is what I want you to know. <clears throat> I really test everything that's on my website. I get phone calls and emails. Well, does this really work? Nope, I just want to get your money. 
you know, <laughs> no, I just have it on my website because, no, you guys, I actually buy things with my own money. I had an esthetician, actually, who found this little toy right here on the internet, uh, made from Korea, and she said, you know, she's like, it, it seems really good, Shelly. So I actually went on and bought this. I paid $300 for this, and it is kind of fun, but it's out there on Amazon everywhere, and our clients can go out and buy it anywhere. So I have contacts as well, so I contacted my contacts to see if they had something similar, and they did, and it was less money, and I bought it as well. Guess what? It's not as good as this one. So I, I really want you to understand that I spend my time really looking into these things and testing them. Recently, somebody asked me about a hot, cold piece of equipment that vibrated. I'm like, oh, that's a cool idea. Let me buy one of those. So I bought one of these, and I actually really like this, but it's all over on the internet on Amazon, and I can't get it for anything cheaper than it's out there. So I would just tell you, go on there and buy it. So I I'm, I'm just want you to be really clear about the fact that I'm really testing things, okay? And I, the next thing I want to talk about that's really important is the knockoffs. It's rampant. Every single piece of equipment we have, I use, typically start with the people who you know, made the piece of equipment, and within six months, somebody has knocked it off. And I spend a lot of my time talking about this on the phone, but Shelly, I can get it cheaper. Well, okay, here's one of the pieces of equipment. We bought the cheaper one on the internet, and we opened it up. So this is the real one. Look at the, the insides of this, the electronics of this, and look at the difference of the inside. Okay, so they can knock off what it looks like on the outside, the molds, but sometimes they can't knock, most times they can't knock off the inside, the power, though it's really going on. So if you want cheaper, go ahead, but you might not be getting the real thing. Okay, everybody with me on that? Do you understand? You're so quiet all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> this is serious stuff. Okay. Now that doesn't mean a knockoff's always going to be bad. I just want you to be aware of it. So I just love this picture. This is a uh, method, right? Method, I've been calling it just Brid Bridget Kedner, but it's method Bridget Kedner. Okay, <laughs> I kind of like the method, oh method, excuse me. Method Bridget Kedner. These, um, we now have a fifth piece of equipment, but these are the, the equipment from the German company that uh, Laura's here to tell us, to talk to us a little bit about today. And I just am really happy. I've been with you guys almost two years. Yeah. Now, wow, yeah. time flies. Yeah, really quality equipment, fun stuff they're always coming out with. So I just wanted to show that to you. Okay, we're going we're gonna to start talking about the equipment, like when I start my treatment, what I would use first, and then as I go along in the treatment, what I would use, okay? So the first thing I would use on somebody <clears throat> is an ultrasonic spatula. Who's got an ultrasonic spatula? This should be in everybody's toolkit, okay? So I use it in every single treatment. It's sound waves. You want one that has no less than 25,000 vibrations. 28,000 vibrations is even better, okay? I don't know who sat there and counted the vibrations. <laughs> I mean, how, how did they come up with these numbers, right? So it is doing exfoliation, extractions, and product penetration. It's always the first piece of equipment I have an esthetician purchase because for the price, there's three things you can do with this. You can do a lot and you can really see a difference on a client with just using this one tool. So in my treatment, I use it in every single treatment. It's not an add-on. Some estheticians charge an add-on for it. I just include it in my treatment. I take all my cleansers off with it. Now I have a deep cleanse. I take all my enzymes off with it and Yes, it'll make your enzyme a little bit more effective, but my main purpose of that is, you know when you've got an ooey gooey, raspberry, blueberry enzyme on the face and it takes forever to try to get it off with your cloth or your sponge? If you swipe it off with the spatula first, then it's really easy to rinse the face. So I take every enzyme off with this. It's fabulous for doing extractions. Um, I can remember back in the 90s, I may talk about the 90s a lot, it was a big time in skincare. It, there weren't as many of us, and we were very busy back in the 90s, it was pretty fabulous. But I did a lot of teenagers back then, and uh, no disrespect to the men in the room, but when I would start to do extractions on the boys, I, I'm not even touching them yet, and they're already like, <laughs> right? So the ultrasonic spatula is a much more gentle way the vibrations go down and loosen the debris from the pore wall. So then lots of times it'll just come right out with the spatula 
or if you start to do manual, it's just going to pour right out. Okay? And then you turn the spatula over and you can do product penetration with it. So you can do a whole facial with the ultrasonic spatula. So the next tool I'll have somebody get is the dermadisc. I am not a huge fan of microdermabrasion. Those of you who know me know that. Uh, two reasons. First of all, in the, the 90s, that's all we had. That was the only piece of equipment back then, so everybody got microdermabrasion. Um, in fact, in that story, I told you about the microdermabrasion, 70% glycolic acid peel, neutralize, sunscreen, next. I mean, that was wild. That's what we were doing back then. So I'm a little bit bored with it. That's the first thing. There's too many other toys I want to use. And then as we get older, we really don't need that section. I don't want to take a chance of breaking capillaries, okay? So I came up with the Dermadisc that has got exfoliating tips and it vibrates with no um, suction in it. So you can really get in there and, and do a good exfoliation on somebody and no worries about breaking any capillaries on them. First of all, this is somebody that's just had Dermadisc around their face. This is an older woman. That's pretty good with just the Dermadisc, right? Typically everything I'm going to show you here is going to be six to eight treatments. Okay. Now, here's somebody who's had the Dermadisc and the ultrasonic spatula. You can do all of this in a quick 30-minute treatment. Call it something really fun, the freshen up facial. That's something that'll get clients in who haven't been in in a while. Something that will bring clients who have never been in. Lots of times they don't want to come in and spend $125, $150, $200 on a new person. I'll come try my 30-minute freshen up facial. Charge $50 or $60. Okay, I can do that. And they'll try that. They'll see results from it, and they're like, oh, okay, well, what else do you do? So it's a great way to bring new people in. Um, we call this an ultrasonic microdermabrasion. Doesn't that sound better than just microdermabrasion? People or estheticians are still getting calls. Do you do microdermabrasion? Because the public still thinks it's the be-all, end-all, right? So no, I, do, I actually do ultrasonic microdermabrasion. So you're going to use the ultrasonic spatula, take the cleanser off with it, rinse, Dermadisc really well. Then you're going to put an enzyme on. You're going to take the enzyme off with the ultrasonic spatula, rinse, put a nice gel mask on, and take the ultrasonic spatula and penetrate it in really well. Let it set for a little bit. Nice hot towel wrap. Rinse it off really good. Moisturizer, sunscreen, and they will look beautiful. Quick 30 minute treatment. Okay. <clears throat> That's pretty good for two little tools. Right. It's pretty good results. From uh, B. Kettner, I do have a microderm device because a lot of estheticians do still want to have something with suction because the public really feels like they have to have it. So I really don't want you going out and spending thousands of dollars on a microderm abrasion machine. If you feel like you have to have something that has that suction for a client that comes in, just get this little, that little handheld, okay? Cocoons, okay, this is something that's fairly new. Um, a lady by the name of Mary Shook brings it over here and she has, this is her website, skincocoons.com. They exfoliate and then they have something called Saracen in it. Do I have that up there? Yeah. That is more hydrating than hyaluronic. So you soak it in hot water for about two or three minutes, you put it on your finger, and then you massage it around your face. So when she sent these to me, I did that and I went, okie doke. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And I'm sitting here watching TV with my husband. A couple hours later, I went like this to itch my face, and I went, oh my gosh. That's, I mean, I could tell that it had been exfoliated in that Saracen. I didn't put anything on my face afterwards. My face was actually really smooth and soft. So is this the be all end all? I don't know. But it's always nice to have fun, different things with your clients, right? I mean, I've done this on a few of my clients here, and they're like, Cocoons? One lady, it was really funny, she jumped up off the table and ran over and got her phone and she goes, look, she had actually gone to a factory. She had just come back from a vacation. She was in a factory and she showed me these, yeah. So go on the website and kind of check into it. It's a kind of a fun, different thing. I don't charge for it. They're not very expensive at all. I'll do it on somebody just because it's fun and then I put it in a baggie for them because they can get two more uses out of it and send it home with them. If it's something they want to continue to do, maybe charge them just $10 extra on a facial. You'll do it during the facial and then send them home with it. Okay? Regenerate. Um, the Regenerate is 
similar to microneedling, but we know in California we can't do my, in microneedling, and in a lot of states we can't do microneedling. So here's kind of my microneedling story. I, years ago when it first came out, the rollers were the first thing. So I got myself one of those rollers at one of the trade shows and I used it at my first client. She was like white knuckling the side of the treatment <laughs> table. What are you doing to me, Shelly, you know? And I just felt, I just didn't, I didn't see anything and I felt like I don't want to torture my client. And so then I tested a couple of the pins that came out and I just was not impressed with the results, again, to warrant the pain. Um, so when Regenerate called me about four years ago and asked me if I would test their machine, I actually said no because I just thought it was another microneedling pen and I, w I just wasn't interested in it. And they kind of explained to me about it and I said, okay, go ahead and send me one. And I, and I was very impressed the first time. First of all, it didn't hurt. And my skin actually looked really good, you know, afterwards. So, um, and we got it legalized through California State Board. So we can actually use this. So what the difference is, is instead of metal needles, we've got silicon pyramids that don't penetrate quite as deep. Um, you know, I've had a lot of estheticians ask me, well, are you getting results then? I'm actually getting better than what I saw with the microneedling pins years ago. Okay, um, I'm just getting acne, acne scars. I actually, one 49-year-old client, I actually tightened her jawline. Was not expecting that at all. Now, I'm not going to say everybody's going to have that same result, but for her, we actually, we actually tightened her jawline. I want to tell you a microneedling story. So a few years ago, I um, did have one of the companies, and I can't even recall the name, I blocked it out, uh, come to give me a demo. Nice young man, came in, told me all about his microneedling pen. He already had a, a tip on the end of it, right, and he open, he was talking to me about it, and he goes, would you like me to do a demonstration now? And I said, well, can I get a new tip? Because I don't know where that tip's been, right? He's like, oh, okay, let me go out to my car. And I'm thinking, hmm, if I'm going to give somebody a demo of something like this, wouldn't I come with a new tip handy? So he goes out to his car, and he comes back, and he, I watch him put the new tip on, and then he's got some products there, and we had to sit closer. Oh, at this point I said, you know, let's do my arm instead of my face, because I just, something was telling me, um, I'm just feeling a little uncomfortable. So I said, let's just do my arm. So we're kind of sitting close, and there was this smell that was coming. I'm like, this poor young fella, he's got the worst halitosis I've ever, you know? <laughs> and so I'm kind of trying to lean back like this while he's doing my arm. And then all of a sudden I realize it's not coming from him. It's, it's coming from the product. I'm like, hmm, this product kind of smells a little interesting, you know? And he goes, oh, you know, I've been in Palm Springs for the last week, and I've left it in my trunk. Uh -huh. Oh, my gosh. The next morning I woke up, my arm was a mess. I tried to find the picture so that I could show you guys. I couldn't find it. It was, um, I mean, had my, had it, have we done that on my face? Wow. Yeah. So I called the company, not mad or anything. I just thought, you know, it would be nice just to call them. I said, I just wanted to kind of let you know some product was used on me that was um, less than good. <laughs> oh, yeah, we had a recall on that product. Yeah, and it happened after year. Yeah, so it was just that was just a weird. So that kind of turned <laughs> kind of turned me off to microneedling. That was just a bad experience. So the reason I'm telling you the story though is, be really aware when somebody comes to do a demonstration on you. Okay, don't just because they come in think that they know everything and just follow their lead because that could have been a disaster on my face. Okay, um, love regenerate getting great results with it. My clients love it. Um, it's fun to have something that's kind of like that that we can use legally in, in California. Any questions? Yeah. What serums do you use to drive in? They have some serums. The cool thing is it's not, you don't have to use their serums. A lot of these companies are like, we take your warranty away from you if you don't use our serums. So they're not product specific. Um, I have a few of my own real transformation products that are on my website that I like to use. And in a little bit, I'll talk about Ling from New York. I just love their products. I like to make cocktails. Mm -hmm. I've, back in, the nine, back in the 90s, here I go again, my clients used to call me you know, the mad scientist because I used to like, make cocktails of things and come up with things, have a little bit of fun with it. So whatever product line you're using, there's probably something in there that you can use. 
Um, when somebody uses me as their sales rep with, from Regenerate, I send you some of the products that I like to use so you can test those out. Any questions? Good question. She asked me um, what I charge and is it a standalone? Um, that's always a hard question for me to answer because I talk to people all around the United States. I feel like 125 is kind of a nice sweet spot for a Regenerate treatment. There's going to be in some states they're like, whoa, that's high. And then there's some people charging two, 250 for this. But I, I feel like 125 is, is, is the decent price. It can be a standalone treatment. You'll find out a little bit later when I talk about LED, that I include LED in every treatment I do. It's just, I finish every treatment off with LED. Uh, the only thing I don't want you to do with this is acid peels. That's just too much. Um, the other thing I don't, who still does steam? I'm not a big steam person. I, I threw my steamer away, I think in 2002. And with all these other pieces of equipment now, first of all, steam feels good, but We've got other things that can do, make so many more changes than spending the time in the facial doing steam, okay? Um, and I don't, want you, I don't want you to do steam with this too, I just think it's too much. She asked me if we need to numb the face with her it. No, yeah, we, we don't, which is the really good thing. The only place that I feel anything that kind of is sort of kind of like pain is on my forehead because there's not a fatty tissue up there, so I'll feel it a little bit more, but even like real close to my eye, it's very comfortable. With microneedling, I feel like you need to numb the face, and I was never nice enough to numb the face <laughs> of anybody. I'm like, if you want this, you're just going to have to suffer through it. <laughs> yeah. How many treatments do you recommend for the endpoint, and then how is the space in between? Good question. How many, question. how many treatments do I recommend? With all my series of any kind of equipment I'm doing, I always say to my clients, we want to do six to eight treatments. I always give it a range because you might have a client that gets to six treatments and they're looking good and you might have another client their skin's a little more damaged, it's a little older and they need those eight treatments. If I tell them up front before we even start that it may be eight treatments, they're not going to be shocked. But if I've told them, oh we just need six treatments and they just get decent results and I'm like, oh we, you need two more, that doesn't sound so good. So I always let them know ahead of time with anything I do. Some, tr some, some things you need to have people come twice a week, sometimes it's just once a week. This is just once a week. Um, with their training, I've heard other people say they have them come every other week or once a month. I have just found, personally, I like the series once a week. Here is a before and after of one of my clients, only four Regenerate treatments. I think that's, that's pretty darn good for just four treatments, how much we've toned down her rosacea. Oxygen. Anybody here doing oxygen infusion? Great. It's my most popular. It's your most popular treatment? Everybody asks for it because they're facial. Yeah. Everybody. It's one of those treatments that once they experience it, they're like, okay, every time I come in, I need to have oxygen included in my, in my facial. Now, do I feel like it's a long-term changes in skin? No. I think it's one of those instant gratification, feel good why it's happening kind of treatments. So they're going to want to have it. You're going to make money off of it. But I would, I, when I first got it many, many years ago, I did series of treatments. And after I finished that first group of people with series, I was like, I don't think I'm going to offer this in a series anymore. There just wasn't enough change to warrant them coming in once a week. But everyone will want it included in their treatment. So here's my oxygen story. Back in the 90s, um, at the big spa that I had, one of the girls that was renting a room, she told me that she just got oxygen. She's going to start doing oxygen treatments. Oxygen. I never, I've never heard of that before. So I'm like, yeah, I would like to have one of those. So she prepped my face, cleanse and exfoliation. And then she literally sat there with an air gun kind of like this. It was a little bit different. And blew air on my face for 30 long minutes. That's it. 30 <laughs> minutes. And I'm laying there going, please let this be over. And then when we got finished, she's like, what do you think? I'm like, oh, that was fabulous. <laughs> and I did not look at, when, when I was at a trade show and I, there was a booth with oxygen, I would just like <laughs> right past that puppy. I, for like 12 years, I did not look at oxygen because I thought if that's all there is to oxygen, I don't want any part of it. That was ridiculous. <laughs> so then, many years later, I don't think it was around 2008, 2009, something like that, um, 
everybody started talking about Madonna and her esthetician, how she travels with her and does oxygen treatments on her. And then there was a certain company that sold this machine to that esthetician. And I thought, well, you know, I better check this out. Maybe it is something a little bit different. So I called that company and had them come give me a demonstration, and it was completely different. The whole sensation, there was a, there's a whole intricate technique to infusing in the skin. It's not about blowing product or air on the face. So I bought the piece of equipment right then and there, $5,500. Uh, the products cost $20 per client to do. Made my money back just like that because the clients wanted this. It was really, you know, it was, it was really popular. But the more I was using it, one second, more I was using it, I realized I don't think we really need to spend $5,500 on a piece of equipment. I think it's more about the technique of the esthetician and the product we're infusing than it is the actual oxygen machine. Yeah, question. How much do you charge for treatment? Another, is it an add-on or a separate? It can be done, it can be done different ways. I know back then they wanted us to charge $175. They were very strict on what you charged for it. Um, a lot of girls are just doing it as like a little 15 minute add-on. Um, here's the other thing when I learned, they wanted me to do 30, excuse me, 20 minutes on either side of the face. That's a long time, right? Yeah, I maybe do 10 to 15 minutes over the whole face. I don't do just oxygen by itself. I do a lot of other things with it. So it could be an add-on, you know, and it could, I, it's hard to say prices because it's so different in different areas. It's like a range of price, yeah. Uh, I use the um, image of their oxygen peel or facial. Mm -hmm. So what would be the difference with a machine is that like their CO2 product that bubbles up on the face kind of thing? Okay, that brings oxygen-rich blood to the surface. Those are really cool. I really like those, actually. Okay, this we're taking, and we're gonna have our oxygen expert up here in a minute. We're actually taking the purified air, and we've got the product in the air gun, and we're pushing the product into the skin. So that's bringing oxygen-rich blood this way. We're pushing product in using the purified air with an oxygen machine. So you could actually, do them both together, yeah. I um, used that particular oxygen machine for about a year and I realized that it was more about the technique of the esthetician. So I went on the hunt to try to find a, a, an oxygen machine that was more affordable. And I went through a few companies because for me, it's also about the integrity of the company itself as well as the equipment, okay? Like how are they gonna take care of you if something happens to the piece of equipment? So I went through a few companies and I finally found this medical company, medical company down in um, Orange County. And I called them up and kind of told him what I was gonna do. And he said, well, come on over. And his name was Justin. Don't come in yet. <laughs> and I took, I took my machines. I had four oxygen machines at that point. And I took them into him, told him about what we did. And I said, all these companies have told me that the PSI is 15 on these machines. Do you have a way of checking this? And he said, of course I do. So he put his little dilly-dally on here and he checked them and not one of them came in at 15. One of them was I think like six or seven. And we'll explain to you in a minute why that's so important to have the pressure higher. Also I said, all these companies are telling me that their rate, their oxygen is 99% pure. Because right, right, bigger numbers always better, right? He laughed at me and I said, why are you laughing at me? And I'm going to let him answer that. So, Justin, <laughs> please come join us. <laughs> so, when I ask you about the 99%, you gave a little giggle. Mm -hmm. And can you explain to us why we can't use 99% oxygen on the face? Well, because the <clears throat> oxygen machine itself cannot make 99% pure oxygen. Uh, room air is about 79% uh, uh, nitrogen and about... Uh, 21, 20.5% 20 oxygen. So what happens is this machine takes the room air and it compresses it. That's what that sound is. If you've ever heard one of these running, there's a compressor in there and it forces the room air into a couple cylinders and these cylinders have a clay substance called zeolite. And zeolite under pressure binds with nitrogen so it holds on to the nitrogen. There are other impurities in the air, argon, helium, things like this, that don't make up the big percentages. So even if I bind all the nitrogen together, I'm not gonna be able to remove those other 
products. So the best we can do on a concentrator is 96%. But effective clinical medical oxygen is actually 84%. So anything above 84% and you're going to be good okay. medically, clinically. Okay. So most of these companies aren't really doing the 99%. And then didn't you say to me uh, something about mixing the oils on our face? That was where the little giggle came in from. Yes, that also, because <laughs> with oxygen, when I, I'm 30 years in the medical oxygen industry, and I had a company and thousands and thousands of patients, and one of the things we always stressed with our patients is we don't want to be putting petroleum jelly and things like this when you're using medical oxygen. Not that oxygen and oil are going to cause an instant fire, but oxygen is an accelerant and oil is also flammable, so oxygen and oil typically not the best mixture. So depending on what kind of uh, treatment that you guys are doing, you don't want to be using that oxygen like that. Okay, makes sense, you guys? Yeah. Okay, I have a lot of estheticians that are looking out there on the internet for things, and they're, you know, we can find them everywhere, and they're finding these little tabletop oxygen machines. Mm -hmm. Tell me why those aren't really oxygen machines. Okay, that's a, those, the little machines that you see, those are, are primarily portable concentrators. And what they're doing is they're working on giving you a pulse dose of oxygen. As, as you breathe in, it would sense a breath, it would give you just this dose of oxygen. At best, one of those machines can make 800 or 1,000 cc's of oxygen. A machine like this can make 5,000. So at 5,000 cc's of oxygen, it's continuous oxygen, and you're always gonna be getting the oxygen. With a machine like that, you would get a pulse Burst. like that and it would have to wait a minute before it could give you another pulse and there'd be no way for you to trigger uh, any kind of device because you have to it's inhalation that causes the oxygen to come out those little machines and I think also the little machines really don't have a constant some of them don't have a concentrator in them they're basically just taking our ambient air and blowing that out on your face right it's maybe pressurized but it's not purified yeah they're not they, they fail more more frequently than these they have tiny little sieve beds and they can't do as good of a job as a big machine okay talk to us about I get a lot of questions is it a five liter or is it a ten liter what's that mean and what what do we need to have okay so uh, five liter machine versus a 10 liter machine uh, has to do with how many liters per minute you can you can put out there's effectively for what we're doing here you don't need a 10 liter machine a five liter machine is going to be just fine there's there's two different things that are happening here when you think of like a garden hose if you had a garden hose outside and you turn the spigot on and you're getting two gallons a minute of water are coming out of the spigot and it's this big flow well with a machine like this that we're using we put a device on the end, the gun, and we're effectively concentrating that, that oxygen coming out of the, that, uh, the tube. So imagine you have that hose outside for your garden and you put a little fire hydrant nozzle on. Now you have this jet stream of water and you're cleaning your sidewalk. You're not getting two gallons a minute anymore. If you stuck it in the pail, it's not going to put out two, two gallons, but your pressure is way up. And so that's effectively what's going to be changing. Okay. So with a five liter machine, you're going to be able to generate as much pressure as you need to power the gun between you know 15 and 20 psi okay. without a problem so don't feel like when you're out there at the trade shows and they say well ours is a 10 liter versus a 5 liter that it's any better for you okay because we i think we have in our minds that anytime somebody out there tells us something's higher it's better and that's not always the case now let's talk about the psi what does that stand for and you and I went back and forth on the PSI over mm -hmm. the last few years and how we came to the conclusion of where we put this one. Right, why, why is the, the PSI important? The, the guns that, that are being used, have, you have to have enough pressure to push that serum out um, effectively. It's kind of a thicker, m more thick than you know, airbrush paint or whatnot that people are using. So you need to have enough pressure to push the, uh, to push the product out, but at the same time, uh, you want the machine to continue to run properly so something that that can run those pressures and run that output of oxygen continuously is going to be your option so we found the 15 psi when i had him turn it up to 15 psi i'm like ooh, that that's nice that's Trying really good then over the years we've been working together we've been playing with that number a little bit <clears throat> we turned it up to 20 and i'm like ooh, that's really nice we turned it up higher and I'm like, ooh, that's too much. PSI stands for? Pounds per square inch. Okay. Pounds per square inch. Yeah, so there's, there's two things that are going on from your machine. Mm -hmm. You have liter flow, the volume of, 
of oxygen, how much water is coming out of the hose, and then you have the pressure. Once we've attached that, um, once we've attached that air hose to it, how, how much pressure is coming out of there. So when this machine is set up and, and you turn it on, say for example, and it's attached to this tubing with the gun on it, the, the ball down there that shows you your pressure is not going to be moving. And some people are concerned. It's not working. Well, it's occluded. It's blocked. As soon as you press the trigger on your trigger. gun, then the flow of oxygen is going to start and you'll see the ball bounce up. Now, typically the ball bounces up to about two and everyone's concerned then, well, it's at two. Should I put it to four? No, we'll set it at four. If you set it at four here, four liters, that's going to be the volume that you want. The pressure is automatically set. So even though it says two, you're still getting 15 to 20 PSI and the full volume for you know, what can come out of that gun. It's a lot of technical stuff to this oxygen, right? <laughs> Thank you. Any, anybody else have any other questions? That, yeah. So why oxygen? Can I answer that one? You please. OK. <laughs> so when she first came to me and said, um, can you fix my machines? Because she brought a bunch of machines in. Can you fix my machines? I'm like, sure, bring them in. I said, what do you do it with it? And she said, well, I'm an esthetician, and I, we use them for facials. So I started laughing. Because I'm like, really? That's crazy. Um, but at the same time, with oxygen and oxygen therapy, primarily we were dealing with COPD patients, patients with medical lung treatment. Um, but there's also something called um, hyperbaric oxygen. You've heard of that, where you get pressurized and you put, or you're put into a booth, and that actually does healing. There's also something called wound therapy, where a, a, you'd have a wound and you'd actually have a patch over the wound, and oxygen is pumped into that patch, and it actually heals. And I actually had a surgeon down in Southern California who would post, he was a plastic surgeon, post uh, treatment, he would do high doses of oxygen to his patients internally for um, four to six weeks afterwards. And also he was directing them to have oxygen on the, on the face, on the spot, on the surgical scars directly for five to 10 minutes a day during that other treatment. You know, half an hour internally and five to 10 minutes um, externally. So. It's a healing purposes. healing purposes. So that's a good question about why oxygen. And for our purpose, really, it's just, it's a feel good treatment and instant gratification. I just felt that working with Justin, I got a lot more technical information about this than I did from working with aesthetic equipment companies that had oxygen machines that were just trying to sell us oxygen machines. I kind of got to the root of things. So I feel much better about this. And I'm really glad that I went in and you laughed at me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks. So thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Let me take this to Yeah, please. She was asking me the question about doing glycolics with your oxygen treatment. I was also told the same thing in the, in the beginning because you figure you're putting that glycolic on, you're neutralizing it, but there's still some glycolic that's already penetrated down underneath. Now you're taking a product with the pe pressure of the oxygen and you're pushing in, that glycolic can go in actually deeper and maybe the person will have a reaction to it. So probably I didn't do that for a lot of years, but then I'm like, what could happen, right? So I tend to like follow directions for a while, but then I want to go out and really like see, you know? I'm not going to do that on a new client, but I'll test it on one of my friends. I've lost a few friends along the way, but you know, you know, know your client's skin, know your product. That's all, yeah. Yeah. Is there any special training when we that's a good question. Special training. I make videos for everything. Um, I do a lot of talking on the phone. You guys know that, that I'm there available for you to an you know, answer questions on the phone. It's really interesting. With this piece of equipment, this has been the only piece of equipment that when I went to do training with it, I said, take it away, like the first half an hour, because I was so awkward with this air gun. I had never held an air gun before or used it. Any of you that are doing the airbrush makeup or the air, air tan, it's gonna be a piece of cake for you. For me, it wasn't, and I was holding my hand so stiff, and I'm like, this is not fun, I don't enjoy this. Well, the, the day after my training, I had booked eight oxygen treatments, back to back to back to back. I'm like, are you out of your mind, Shelly? <laughs> but I have to tell you, one day, I was a pro, and now it's one of my favorite treatments to do. So it's, it was one of the most learning curves for me, but once I got it, it's really enjoyable to do. So. We'll, you'll watch videos and then we'll talk. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah. Can every the skin and every face so we can heal the, the, the oxygen? 
Oxygen, on all, are you talking about all skin types and things like that? That's the cool thing about oxygen. We can use it on everybody. There's a lot of equipment we can't use on people with pacemakers. We can't use on pregnant women. Oxygen we can use on everybody, which is nice. Okay, and it's great for acne. Okay, the pure oxygen helps kill bacteria, so it's great for acne. Um, and then a couple of years ago, I was testing those microdermabrasion infusion machines, and remember, I'm not big on microderm, and then the whole infusion thing, it was just kind of plopping out. It was like, I don't get this. I'm microdermabrating and it's just plopping out. So I thought, well, wait a minute. What if I put an exfoliating tip on the end of an air gun, and while I'm exfoliating, that pressure of that air is actually pushing the product in. So Justin and I started going to it, and we ended up making an adapter that fits ex three different uh, grits of exfoliating tips on the end. So now it's a two-step treatment. You go over the face first, exfoliating, and putting in maybe a product that has a little bit of salicylic acid in it or something, and then you go back in with the infusion. So you we call this the dermal air gun. You actually get that with the machine as well. And there's no other company that has that. That was, that was my own little aha idea. This is just one treatment. So you can see the skin is very hydrated afterwards. That's why people like to have it done. It's that instant gratification. But no major changes will happen over a long term or series of treatments. Nano Skin Pro. Anybody here have the Nano Skin Pro? Fun little piece of equipment from Japan. It's got microcurrent, electroporation, radio frequency, a deep cleanse, ion, and cooling, all in one little machine. So if you need, if in your budget you only have enough for one thing, wow, you can pretty much do it all here. You can start the treatment with a deep cleanse, and then you can use electroporation. Who knows what electroporation is? Crickets. OK, electroporation uses an electrical current to open a pathway. If you were to look at a cross section of the skin, you would see it going like this. So whatever you're trying to penetrate can come out deep and fast. So whereas ultrasound's kind of going through this, pushing through the skin this way, electroporation's going to almost open the, the cell membrane. So any products that you're trying to penetrate can go down deeper and faster. I actually like it even a little bit better than ultrasound. I find that the products get in deeper better with electroporation. You all know what radio frequency is, heating the skin from the inside out, and then microcurrent is the toning of the muscles. So there's a lot you can do with this machine. And then cooling, use after extractions, use after peels, just even to use for a few minutes at the end of a treatment. It just feels really good to tighten those pores up afterwards. So this is a fun little piece of equipment. If we ever update this, you're just going to plug it into your computer and download those updates. Love this little machine. Are you having fun with it? Yes. Yeah. It's a, it's a, like it. it's a solid, I mean, it's a very good <laughs> solid piece of equipment. And also the neck and jowls. When you actually <clears> use it, it works. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next piece. Oh, here's some pictures. So it's very effective. Oh, I love it from the neck. Yeah. Very effective piece of equipment. Look at each picture. How many times for treatment? She asked me how many times for treatment. You know, that's a really good question. With, you know, everything with our clients, then how many treatments do I have to do? Well, you know, they think they can come one time and they're going to look 22 again. They're just not. They have to commit to this. And I like people to come in twice a week for things. I make it a quick treatment, in and out in 30 minutes so that they have the time to do it. But I want them to come in two times a week because they're going to get better, stronger, longer lasting results if they do. But if they can only come in once a week, don't turn them down. It's just going to take them a little longer to see those results. But don't ever tell anybody you can get great, you know, long lasting results in one treatment. Always say six to eight treatments with anything. Yeah. So how much you can discharge for the 30 minute treatment? Yeah, again, it's going to depend on your area. She asked me how much it's, we're going to charge for it. If you're going to have them come in twice a week, what does everybody think? Around $50, $60? Does that feel like a comfortable price range? There's going to be other areas, let's say down in Beverly Hills or, you know, in New York. They're going to charge $100, $125 for that 30 minute treatment, yeah. you know? So it just depends on your area. Um, it can be an add-on, it can be a full treatment all on its own. That's the fun thing about it. You can, this is what I do in my treatments, you guys. Before I stopped like really having my spa full time, I charged $150 and I would do on them like, for an hour treatment and I would do on them whatever I wanted to do. And it changed every time they came because I have so many different toys to play with, right? 
So the cool thing about that is it kept me from getting bored and it kept them from getting bored as well. It almost, almost they come in and they're like, what are you going to do on me today, Shelly? It was fun for them that I wasn't doing that same facial that I've been doing on them for the last five years over and over and over again, right? And just like going to the gym, you want to switch it up. You don't want to do the same exercise for that muscle group all the time. You want to switch it up. So the same thing on our faces too. So um, what was my point in all of that? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, variety. <laughs> We're talking about the price. <laughs> so the price. So I have some girls that do, we're just going to call it A, B, and C, three different price range facials. And the <coughs> clients will pick whether they do A, B, or C. To simplify things, I've gone into places that have these menus and you open them up and there's the blueberry facial, there's the gold mask facial, there's the, there's, like when I go to a restaurant and there's too many things to pick from, I'll say, Nate, what am I having tonight? <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't choose. Those clients come in and they see all of that. They don't know what's best for their skin. So simplify things for them. Okay? You tell them what they want. In fact, let's stop for a second. When I do a consultation with somebody, um, first of all, they know my price range. They, you know, they know that my, my facials aren't $39. They know they start at 100 and go up to 250, okay? But we talk about what their concerns are. What would they like to see changed in their skin? And while we're having this conversation, all in my mind, I'm coming up with the idea of what I would like to do on them. Now, this is unusual. Not many people do this. At the end of that, I'll say to them, okay, I really need for you to come in once a week for the next six to eight weeks or twice a week for the next four to six weeks. What's your budget? I've never had anybody say $1.99, right? <laughs> you know, they know my price range, and they may say, you know, I can, afford, I can afford $100 per treatment. Cool, I've got a great treatment in mind for you. I had this one time, this one lady, I thought she was going to say $100, and she said, you know, I can do $200. And inside, I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Of course, I didn't show that. I was very professional. Great, I have an incredible treatment for you for $200. But had I said a hundred dollar treatment to begin with, I would have been cutting myself out of some money, right? And also, if I say too much and it's not in their budget, I'm gonna scare them out. So I wanna see what their budget is and then I'm gonna do the best treatment for them in their budget. And it's just seemed to work for me over the years. In fact, when I had my website for my spa, I didn't even have prices on there. I had the modalities that I offer and then call for a free consultation. It just seemed to work for me. It might not be the right thing for you, but that just, I, I, I felt more comfortable when I was talking to them. Then they felt like they were in on it also, rather than me just saying, okay, it's going to be this much and you know, that's it kind of thing. So we did the spatula came from MBK, and now the curve is our newest one from MBK. Has anybody in here got it yet? Yeah, no, nobody's got it yet. Well, you're all going home with one. <laughs> um, I love this piece of equipment. So when Laura sent it to me, it said on the outside of the box, body curve, and I dropped the body because when I pull this out and put it in my hand like this, to me it was like, oh yeah, I can now really get that neck and jaw area, where some of the things we use are a smaller spot treatment and they don't get in there and grab it as well. Now, if you've got a client who's got that real short, kind of a little bit more of a squatty, heavy neck, this is not gonna be the piece of equipment for that client. But for the others, this just really gets in there so well. This has got ultrasound, radio frequency, LED light, and something called biomechanical vibration. So there is a noise to this one, and that's the biomechanical vibration. So really, really high vibrations. That's the part that I think that's really kicking it in. One of my gals that comes here on a regular basis to see me, when she comes back in, she always says, oh, when I'm walking home, Shelly, I can just feel my face tightening up. And that's that biomechanical vibration. So I'm gonna pass a couple of these around because I just want you to feel this in your hand because it's just, ergonomically correct where a lot of things we use are so awkward on our bodies and when we're thinking about doing something you know eight hours a day day after day we have to really think about our body mechanics and I just love don't do turning on right now and everything we'll talk about that later <laughs> see there always has to be one in the crowd right <laughs> I have a couple of spas that um, tested it on their estheticians first and they called me back and they said, okay, we need three more of those because now they're gonna start doing it on their clients for body treatments. So it's big enough size meant to be used on the body, great for the arms, legs, 
um, but I just really feel like it's great on that neck area. I'm going to be making a full video on, there we go again. <laughs> I'm going to make making a full video to show you guys, and in, in this afternoon we'll go over this too. It really works on the face well. Even though it's bigger, I'll show you how it really works on the face really well. Um, we don't have any before and after pictures because it's such a new piece of equipment, but you've got your price things on there. Look at the price on this. It's really a good price. And I can imagine with body, I can just imagine having two and doing this kind of movement up the back of the legs for doing body treatments. This is the bum right? You want to always want to go up. And I'd spend a good 10 minutes on the back of that leg, the full back of each leg kind of thing. Um, face, I like to spend for toning, I like to spend 10 minutes on either side of the face. If you're really doing it for a really nice, good tightening, toning treatment. If you're just wanting to penetrate some product in at the end of the treatment, you know, you could do a minute on either side of the face. So it just depends on how you want to use it. Okay, okay what you're trying to, to get out of it, your end results. How do you know which yeah, that's a really good question. She asked me to which, which toy to use. That's why it's fun for me to have a lot of different toys because everybody's body's going to respond differently. So maybe somebody comes in and I use some toys and I got some good result, but I, maybe it's intuitively. I know, hmm, I think next time they come in, I'm gonna, I think this other one might work better for them. So it's kind of just knowing your tools very well and then getting to know that client and you're not always going to know them the first time they come in it's kind of a little bit of trial and error the first time but you want to do something good enough the first time they come in for them to come back right you have to wow them enough that first time that they're going to be like yeah i'll come back but have other things in your toy box if you need to switch up yeah that's why i'm out there like really searching trying to find things that are not that expensive so you can afford to have a lot of different things and not just one expensive equipment that just does one thing so you can pick and choose here's what i found over the years like with the nano skin over the years i've had some other ones when you have multiple modalities in a piece of equipment i feel like you get better results like they're all working at the same time versus just a microcurrent machine you know, just an ultrasound machine. When all of those modalities are working simultaneously, I just feel like our end results have been better. That's why I like to find these units that have all these little different things in them. Ling Energy Lift. Uh, Ling of New York is a company that has a product line in New York that I got introduced to, and I really love their product line, and then they, they sent me this piece of equipment, and it's interesting because it's, this is a tourmaline crystal, um, and far infrared. And when you do it, it just feels warm and kind of yummy and, and nice. I didn't see any kind of wow like results afterwards. And I'm always kind of like looking for that because we need to have that for our clients. But I kept being drawn to it. I would use it for a few days and they go, it's not really doing anything. And then I would like, I would be drawn to pull it back out of the out of the drawer and use it again. And they are telling me that it's this tourmaline that's, that's this energetic thing that's doing this to me. And then I realized, I am, every time I use that, I'll do it while we're watching TV at night, I will sleep really good the night that I use that. And so it's like, it's just a really interesting piece of equipment. When we had our workshop in December, I had a gal fly up from Southern California. She specifically wanted to come to look at this piece of equipment. So in the afternoon, we stuck her down on the table and I started using it on her and she went, Oh, kind of my same, my same reaction. And about three minutes into it, you could visually, and there was a whole group of estheticians standing around us, you could visually see her whole body just go. And she went, oh. It just relaxes your whole body. So in New York, where they have their spas, they actually work on your back first to get your whole system relaxed before they do it on your face. So is it going to be like our other pieces of equipment where it's a wow factor? It's like a specific client, a specific type of esthetician that's going to be drawn to this. But I actually really do love this. And you can do body treatments with this as well. I'll turn it on when we're back there so you can feel it, that kind of thing. But very, just very different and interesting. I love it. Uh, and then this is their product line. And I have a few little kits of my favorite lings, my favorite things, ling things. <laughs> Because um, I've just really become, uh, I really love their products. Their Oxygen Plasma Glow works. Do you love that? 
it works really well as a conductive product for all these pieces of equipment we're talking about that need conduction. And it's so yummy, you can just leave it right in the skin. Okay? <clears throat> and I've got that back there so that you can kind of feel it and see what you think. This is their vitamin K from Ling. This is after just four uses of their vitamin K. It's really, it's really good. Really, really, really good. LED. I got a story. So, 2000. To 2003. Take him to a trade show. It was up in San Francisco at the time. Um, just going to get some supplies. We'll be in and out, babe. Just, just getting some supplies. That's it. Real, real quick. We'd stop to use the restroom, and I came out first, and I started to mosey on down this aisle, and I came to this booth where this lady was holding this, it looked like this, but it had a light at the end. And so I said, oh, she's got a flashlight next to this lady's eye. I wonder why she's got a flashlight next to her. That's kind of weird. I said, oh, I better, I better not keep moving because I'll get lost. We didn't have our cell phones with us that day, so I better just stand here. So I'm kind of listening, and she's talking about LED light-emitting diodes and how it's anti-aging and it's great for acne as well, stimulating collagen and elastin. Well, that's kind of interesting. But I'm just here, and I've got to wait for my husband. But I kind of leaned in a little bit because I wanted to hear a little bit more about what she was saying because it was really interesting, so I got a little closer listening to her a little bit more. Before you know it, I'm sitting on the chair with the LED light <laughs> next to my eye. Had my eyes closed. I'm listening to the whole spill again. Went on for probably 10 minutes or so, and I opened my eyes, and there's Nate standing there. <laughs> 10 minutes, she said we were going to be <laughs> in and out. So I'm like, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And we got up, and we left. And we're walking around, and I'm getting my supplies that I'm needing. As we're walking around, he keeps going like this. He keeps like looking at me really strange. And I'm like, what? Why are you looking at me like that? And he says, your eye. What did they do to your eye? Go back and make them do the other one so they look the same. Because I hadn't looked at myself in the mirror before I walked away. And I'm like, OK. So I walk back in there. And a couple minutes later, we walk out with a $5,500 LED machine. <laughs> yeah, we tend to do that a lot. <laughs> I'm really happy that I did, though. Uh, so way back then, I started doing LED on clients. Really, it was very new, so I still didn't really understand it. So I kind of just started using it on, on everybody, and I started noticing some great differences. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to include this in every single treatment. This is not going to be an add-on. I'm going to factor it into the time and cost of the treatment. Well, back then, I had two handhelds. So I had to sit there, hold and then move. It was like, you know, so about two years into it, I said, okay, I cannot stand this one day longer. And we went to a trade show <laughs> and walked out with a $10,000 LED panel. Okay. Started getting some great results. So I'll show you the pictures with this. <clears throat> we don't need to spend $10,000 on an LED panel. Um, and most of the panels out there, I've been through quite a few of them over the years. Okay. You have to spend like a minimum of 20 minutes typically 30 minutes if you want to see any kind of results. That adds a lot of time onto our, our facials, doesn't it? So about two years ago, I met a, met a gentleman from a company called Aesthetic Skin Systems, and he was showing me a different piece of equipment, but he's kind of one of those types that likes to, he's like scientific and he likes to get in there and make things, and I said, hey, do you know anything about LED? Do you think you could make me a really good quality LED machine for a, a much better price and maybe something that's a little faster? It actually took him two years. This just came out about three months ago. It took him that long to really do this technology. But he came out, look at that. Look at the power on that. Um, 1,800 LEDs, five minute treatment time. And I can honestly say to you, I know people's skin you know, that I've been working on. When I first got the first one and I used it on somebody, I could visibly see a difference in five minutes on them. It's, it's amazing. So now, with five minutes, Imagine what we can do, how much we can use that. I have a couple of gals that have bought it that are setting up um, illuminate bars in their front rooms for people to just come and stop by to get a quick five-minute treatment. Come in between your facials to keep those results going just for a five-minute quickie. Did I say that? <laughs> we give you some pretty strong goggles, but it's interesting. If you test it back there, the goggles are, they really like, are tight. But if you open your eyes and close your eyes, it's going to be the same brightness. It's the way your brain is perceiving the light, actually. But, so you don't want to have it glaring right in your eyes. You want to have your eyes protected, but you'll, it'll still be bright on your eyes. 
I learned, um, we all probably learned, I don't know, in school, are you teaching LED in school? Blue is for acne, right? And red is for anti-aging and pigmentation. I've tested them all, all these years, and I've not really gotten great results with blue with acne. Um, surface, because it, it doesn't penetrate very deep, so it's gonna help that surface acne, but everything that's starting to form down here, the blue's not gonna do anything for it. I've actually been playing with this one on some of my 20-something year olds, the kids of some of, and I'm actually getting acne results with this which is really interesting. I actually finish the treatment off with it. It's the last thing I do, and then when I come back, um, I put sunscreen on them. So when I first got my very first um, LED, they said, do not have any products on the face when you use the LED. Like, they almost scared me, like their face was gonna melt off or something if I would. So, okay. So for two years, there was nothing on those people's face when I did that <laughs> LED on them. And then I thought, what could happen, right? So I started putting just kind of a little, my little hyaluronic, something mild on, and I noticed the results getting better and boosting. So now everybody always have products. Now every LED company out there has different thoughts about that. You're gonna hear other companies say, you know, no, do not have any products on the face. I can't tell you scientifically, because I don't know that, I can just tell you what I've seen over the years, that I get better results if I have products on the face. Can you put a clay mask on their face and put the LED on them? No. You know, a thick, heavy white mask? No, it's gotta be something that that product can penetrate through. If you're putting something gel on them, if the gel's too thick, that light's going to then bounce off of that. So it's gotta be something that's gonna soak right into the skin. Most LED panels out there will not have 1,800 LEDs in it. That is a lot. I was just gonna say, every time I do the LED light, on it, you know, you could, it's really good for stagnant skin. Like I really see a difference with stagnant. That's an interesting way so to put it. So it's like, it's detoxing, it's, it's providing so much circulation and it's the penetration is so wonderful. You could see like, just like very alive. Yeah, that's and a great way to, yeah. skin looks, if it's powerful enough. If you've laid somebody under something for 10 minutes that's not a powerful light, you just kind of just wasted the time, actually, to tell you the truth. There's one of my clients years ago, one of my other LED panels that would come in once a week for about six weeks and lay under it for 30 minutes before she went to work in the morning. Um, at that time, I was still, this was like right when I got the first panel and I wasn't using product, so that's with no product. I think that's pretty darn good results. So can you imagine this strong panel that I have now, what kind of results we would have gotten from that? This is with a little bit, this was a long time ago, with a little bit microdermabrasion and a, the handheld LED. So let me tell you a story about this picture. That's actually me. And, oh my God, I don't know, five, six years ago or so, I opened the <laughs> brochure to the Las Vegas skincare show and was looking at the ads from all the companies on there. And I saw an ad, and not only did it have that picture, but the four pictures underneath that were all my clients, my before and after pictures, for a piece of equipment that had nothing to do with what these pictures were taken from. And I certainly didn't know who the company was. So I wrote them a little email and said, hmm, I don't remember giving you permission to use my face. My, I didn't even talk about my clients, or you know, my pictures of me in your ad. I never saw that ad again. But the reason I really tell you that story is I want you to be careful with the before and after pictures out there. That's why I always like to take my own because I know that they're real then. You know, because we like to trust the companies that we're working with that they haven't doctored those pictures, but we don't know. So take your before and after pictures for your clients. This gal's forehead was, ex well, her whole skin, she was very, very sensitive skin. I could not use microderm on her this was back in the 90s. I could not use um, a peel, could not do peels on her. I had troubles with sunscreens. I mean, she was so sensitive, but she came to me and she said, Shelly, I do not like the texture of my skin. And I'm thinking, how am I gonna change her skin if I can't do anything you know, abrasive on her skin? That's right when I got the LED light. So I said, you know what, we're gonna do a little test. I want you to come in every week and I'm gonna sit here with these LED lights on your forehead for six weeks and we actually changed the texture of her forehead after six weeks, and she was really, really happy. So you're right, LED really is, it's a hard thing to explain, but it's really doing something. Stress-induced rosacea, she was in tears when she called me, and so we started her with, back then, you know, I was still testing the different colors and everything, we started her with blue, because I'm feeling bacteria, very topical bacteria, so we started with blue, and we got her calmed down a little bit, we went on to red after that got her under control. 
Okay, so let's talk about green. I was told years ago that green was great for pigmentation. Anybody else hear that? I tested it for quite a long time and I never saw anything with green for pigmentation. I th think red works better for pigmentation. But I came across a piece of equipment years ago that you was using green for acne. And I was getting really good results and I'm like, why green? And I found an article on the internet about how green works at an oxygenating level for acne. It's working deeper, it's penetrating deeper than blue does. So it's basically, in a layman's language, killing the bacteria before it has a chance to develop and start coming up. So that article is actually on my website that you can read. So the same guy who made our, my big LED panel, I was talking to him about that, and I didn't know if I wanted you guys to have to purchase a whole LED panel for acne. So I said, can you make me a powerful enough handheld, but that's a big enough spot treatment that we're not spending forever to do? I'm not gonna turn this on because this baby is, it is powerful. And literally I used it on one of my girls the other day and I actually just, you wanna put something over this if you're gonna actually sit it on the face. So I had a little piece of saran wrap over this. And while I was doing something else, I actually just, set it on the side of her face like this. And then I did this side. And then we did it on her chin and then her forehead. And because it's so bright, it's going like this. I had to do four areas and it's 90 seconds per area. She called me the next day. She says, oh my word, Shelly, I can't believe the difference. So I'm hooked on green. And for me, red and green, I've seen the most changes from. Uh, blue, very, very light. If you can get blue too and you want to do green and blue on somebody with acne, that's great. Get the surface and then go a little bit deeper as well. If you've got an acne person, if you could get them in a couple of times a week, you could really get that acne down. Maybe do a full facial, do all your extractions, everything, and have them come back two days later just to do the LED. Could you do it at the end or just, was it better to wait Oh, do at the end of that treatment. Yes, do it then, and then two days later come back again as well. Yeah, now that this, with this five minute one, I have a lot of girls really rethinking the way that they're doing things and the way you can bring, if you have an extra room, you could have them just popping in there all day long, people coming in. You could be doing your regular facials. If you had another person, you know, they could just be pu putting them in there. There's, because they're seeing results, they're gonna wanna keep doing that. Uh, kind of random, but I was gonna ask about waxing. You probably don't wanna combine waxing and LED. Oh yeah, great healer. Really? Cool. Mm-hmm. Wax them and then stick them under the LED panel for five minutes. Yeah, How about definitely. For permanent makeup? For permanent makeup? Sure. It's healing. It's he so it's going to heal. Anything that's going on on their face, it's healing. Yeah. Um, one of the things I did years ago, and I've started doing it again, that's, that's really cool, and I'll have some pictures for you guys pretty soon, is doing the LED panel with a TCA peel. Mm -hmm. So you know TCA, you don't neutralize. It just stays on the skin right? Everybody's going, oh no, yeah, it's so good. So um, Skin Scripts makes a great TCA that's not too strong. So I'll do a six week series and each week I add one more layer of TCA on them. So the last week we're doing six layers of TCA before I put them under the panel for five minutes. I'm in the middle of the series with a, one of the ladies here in the neighborhood right now and she's looking good. She's looking good. It's a really nice and a quick treatment. I mean they're in and out in 20 minutes. I cleanse, Put the TCA on, five minutes, sunscreen, and off they go. That's it. So that's a really cool treatment to do. Great piece of equipment from Israel. Um, I had an esthetician tell me about this piece of equipment when I called the company about it. The um, vice president of the company happened to be in Orange County when I lived down in Orange County from Israel. So I got the vice president, actually came to my spa, and he gave me a treatment, which was a treat, because he was not an esthetician, but I could see past product all over my hair and, <laughs> and everything. Um, this is a great, great, great piece of equipment. This is a capsigen tip that causes that bore effect that you were talking about, that CO2 reaction. When, it, when this tip hits the product on the skin, you can see it bubbling up. That's the, called the bore effect, and that's bringing oxygen-rich blood to the surface, so it's oxygenating. And then this tip becomes very rough as you're using it, so it's exfoliating at the same time. So that first step, you're getting oxygenation and exfoliation at the same time. Then it's got a three megahertz ultrasound to do product penetration. And then it's got another tip that goes with it. <clears throat> Actually, it's this little tip right here. 
that is a massager. I talked about that biomechanical vibration, that high vibration. So that's the last thing you do on the client and they absolutely love the feel of that. It's so funny because I've done all this high tech modalities on them and I get to this vibration and they're all like, oh my gosh, that feels so good. They absolutely love it. So this is a really game changer piece of equipment. When I first started selling it, I sold it to the, one of the first people I sold it to was an esthetician who worked in a little hair salon she had a little room, not a high-end area in Southern California. And about two months into it, she called me and she goes, I hate you, Shelly. I said, why do you hate me? She goes, I'm here until 9 o'clock every night because I am so busy. And I realized about six months into it, she was calling to, because there's products you have to use with it. She was calling to order products from me a lot. So I went back through her account, saw how much product she had um, purchased and I knew she was charging 165 per treatment and I did all the math and I'm like oh my word this woman had made something like $65,000 in six months off of this piece of equipment it was amazing yeah now it's an ex it's the most expensive piece of equipment that I sell but if it's in the budget and somebody wants something really unique and different it can be a game changer for you this one's fun this one's fun yeah. okay 20 HZ Pro so this is sound, but not like ultrasound like our ultrasonic spatula. This is sound waves like, like you would be sitting on top of a, um, a speaker. It's putting 20 hertz of sound into your body, taking inflammation out of the cells. This piece of equipment is, comes from Korea. <clears throat> so this is, this is my analogy. If you think about a cell being filled with debris, it's gonna be heavy. And if I pull that debris out of that cell, it's going to pop back up again. I know that's very layman's, but in my mind, that's the way I can really understand this. This is done in movements of lymphatic drainage, and I've literally watched, <clears throat> when the national distributor has come here, I've literally watched people's, half of their faces go up. And one of the first times she came, we had a real thin girl, but she had a little bit of a muffin top kind of thing, and she stood there in front of a group of people and worked on one side of her, and we all watched it just smooth, completely out. It's, it's, Phenomenal. It's very unique and different. Every client you use it on just goes, wow, this is just feels really good. But it's so different. I use it in almost every treatment. Here's some pictures. One 10 minute treatment. Wow. Look at how she pulled all that debris out of that woman's puffiness in her neck. So there's somebody with acne. Oh, let's talk about that. Consent forms, consent forms, consent forms, you guys. Um, this was a, quite a few years ago, but one, I had a client who I hadn't seen in like six months, but I had, been, I had been seeing her for years and years and years. I hadn't seen her for a while. So when she came in, we were like, ta, 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 you know, catching up, ta, you know, talking. I did the regular treatment I had been doing on her for years that included microcurrent and all this stuff. We hugged, she left. About 30 minutes later, I got a phone call. She's panicked. She said, Shelly, I forgot to tell you I had a pacemaker put in. Oh my who forgets? <laughs> Who forgets you had a pacemaker put in? You know, but it was a really big learning lesson to me to, you don't have to have them sign a whole new consent form, but each month when they come in, hey, has anything changed since I've seen you last month? You know, bring it up to your client every month. That was, she called her doctor, he said, don't panic, you're gonna be okay, but just don't do it again. But that was, that's, that was crazy to me because I thought I would remember to tell somebody I had a pacemaker put in, that's big. Oh. <laughs> that must be lunch. We'll be right back. Everybody have a good lunch? Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you, thank you. Let's talk about the toys for home use, okay? They're out there buying them, aren't they? They're everywhere, so they might as well be getting them from you, okay? And then that way you're going to sell them product, too, to use as well. And you're going to teach them how to use it. So. Don't be afraid of the, the, the toys for home use. I've had a lot of estheticians, well, you know, if, if I send them home with something, they're not going to come back to me. Yes, they are. It's very different at home than it is when they come to you and you're actually giving them a full-on professional facial. I actually think it, it connects you more with them if you want to send them home with something that keeps their results going in between them seeing you, okay? It's like, it's like you care enough about them and what's going on with their skin. So don't be afraid of these. What I tell my clients though for home use tools, you'll read a lot of the instructions that say, use this for 15 minutes a day. 
use this for 10 minutes a day. So when they first purchase that, that first week, they're gonna do it because they're super excited about this new toy that they just took home and they're gonna do it. And then the second week they're gonna do it maybe twice that week. And then the third week they're gonna do it once and then it's gonna go in a drawer and it's never gonna come out again, right? So I tell my clients for some of these little tools, use it for 60 seconds. You, you know, around the eyes, 60 seconds, 30 seconds. It's more about consistency than it is doing it for a long period of time. I'd rather have them use it for less time, but be consistent every night. And they'll go, oh, I can do that. I can do something for 30 seconds. I can do something for a minute. And then they will be consistent, and then they start seeing results, and they're going to keep it up. And then they may even do 10 minutes at one point, okay? It's kind of like you're tricking them in to using it. Okay, let's talk about the My Skin Buddy first. I think that's the first one I have on there. Okay, oh. I don't. Let's talk about the Valera first. <laughs> we can cut that, right? <laughs> okay. Let's talk about the Valera first. Um, this is a Bridget Kettner uh, tool, and you've probably seen similar things out there like this, a cleansing tool. I actually purchased one, I think, at a trade show, I don't know, maybe even three, four years ago, and it was an odd, it was a very odd shape. And I tried it once, and it just, it was just, I didn't, I didn't see anything, it didn't feel comfortable in my hand, and I think I sold it at a garage sale, you know. And when Laura told me about this one, and the minute I got it, <clears throat> first of all, I like the way that it just feels in my hand. It's just very comfortable in my hand. Put my cleansing, um, foaming cleanser, which this is a great cleanser. Anybody that wants to play with this this afternoon, please feel free. I love their cleanser. Um, again, for your client, 60 seconds over the top of their cleanser. I rinsed my face and I was like, oh, wow, I can definitely tell a difference. Okay, every client I've used this on, this is fairly new to me. Every client I've used this on has purchased it. This is a great home tool, I love this. The other day, did any of you guys see the posts I made on Facebook about the Primp My Face party that I did here? I had four women here, I did a little facial party here. This was just two days ago. All four of the women bought this. So it's a really, really simple sell. Use it in treatment, rinse their face, and ask them to touch their face, and they're gonna be amazed. For a client, if you're using it on clients, you would do that and wipe it down with an antibacterial wipe. Wow. So it's not waterproof as in to take it in the shower, but you can put the top part of it underneath the sink. Don't put the whole thing in, in it. I'm a little addicted to it, I have to be careful, <laughs> because you can over exfoliate. You don't want to do that as well, and it just feels so good, because the stimulation, also, you just feel like you've like, mm, it's alive, that, that alive word you use, that's how you feel after you use it. I wouldn't use it every single day. I've been tempted, because it just feels, it just feels really good. If you, if you are going to do that, literally 30 seconds max. You know, if you want to do a really good cleanse and you're spending two to three minutes, I would say once to twice a week is all you need to do it then, okay? And I was talking to, when I was doing a little party here the other day, we were talking about doing it on the forearms and the back of the hands too. And that could even be an add-on treatment in your facials, doing it on the, because you can, you can visibly see and feel a difference afterwards. Fun tool, great retail. I know some of you have got to have the My Skin Buddy in here. It's been around for a little bit now. We were getting ready to move into this community, not this house, but it was our rental home here before we moved in. And my brother lives here. He just lives around the corner from me. And about two days before we arrived with the moving van and everything, <clears throat> um, he texts me and he says, hey, Shell, there's a package on your front porch. I picked it up for you. I'm like, oh, thanks, bro. <laughs> so we get here, and I've got a moving van, and we're you know, unpacking and everything. A package from somebody I don't know who it is is the last thing I'm going to take the time to stop and look at. So I take this box and I, I put it you know, in the cupboard, uh, in the closet for a couple of weeks. And I finally thought, well, I better take this out and take a look at it. This person was nice enough to send me this. I better take it out. And I took it out and there was this pretty little box. I'm like, oh, that's nice. And then I open it up. I'm like, oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. Isn't that pretty? Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> It just looks pretty to me. <laughs> and it goes back in a closet again for another two weeks because it didn't look like much of anything. I mean, very packaged, very nicely, but it didn't look like much though. 
So it went away for another two weeks. And then I thought, this isn't very nice. I haven't gotten a hold of this person. I had better, you know, let me at least try this. So I took it out and I read the instructions. And that night I put my cleanser on my face and I turned it on to cleansing mode. Mm, for about 60 seconds, I put it down and I went like this to rinse my face and I went, oh my gosh. In that 60 seconds, I could feel a difference in my skin. It was amazing. You gals that use it, do you, I mean, it, the, I'm like, okay, maybe this, there's, maybe there's something to this. It's not just a pretty little box. So then I rinsed my face off. I put my moisturizer on and another, you know, two, maybe two, three minutes on a penetrating in the product. And the next morning, my skin just looked hydrated and alive and it was really nice. So I called her up. I said, okay, Gata is her name. She's the owner of the company. What is this? How do I get my hands on it? And it's been two, near, two years now and I have literally sold thousands and thousands and thousands of these. This is a big ticket item as far as home use for sale. So it's got the positive ion for the deep cleansing and then it's got the LED lights and the ultrasound for product penetration. It's, and it's got a really great retail markup for you guys as well. It's effective, more gentle on the skin than the brushes, than the brushes are. Yeah. Oh, and you can use two in treatment. It's a great starter piece of equipment if you don't have a really big budget, but you want to have something to be using in treatment, this is a great starter piece of equipment. You want to use it in treatment on a client, and then once they've purchased it, you will not use it in treatment on them again because they're using it at home, but you use it for the first time they come in to get them to buy it. Who's got the eye rejuvenator? Love, love, love the eye rejuvenator. This is such a big selling item that I sold the company. I like to say I liked it. I sold the company out. I did? Okay, thank you. <laughs> In December. Because um, this is a really good retail item for you. The price is really, really good. It's microcurrent. The titanium tip heats up. So you just need to use this at the end of a treatment on a client, <clears throat> around their eyes around their lips. It's really a good around their lips. I even like to use it in the nasal labial folds. They go, oh my gosh, that feels so good. Oh, well, let me tell you about it. And they walk home with one. I mean, yeah, it's, it's an instant sale. So we'll play with this back in the treatment room as well, you guys. Um, so yeah, we sold out. We haven't had them for a while and they were supposed to be here today in the UPS truck that had them on and got in an accident and they are stuck and won't be getting here till Monday. So you can't walk home with one today, but you can certainly order and we're gonna get them out to you as quickly as we possibly can, okay? So you definitely wanna play with this. I think I've got, this is one of my estheticians who did this on her husband and this was just after one treatment um, on him. <clears throat> you can have for eye bags. Eye bags? Um, yes, gonna do downward motions for drainage, if you're gonna do that, yes. Every day, yeah, every day. And you know when you get those, those clients, I mean, I love it for the eyes. I wish they hadn't called it the eye rejuvenator, you know, because the lip lines, it works so well for the lip lines. And even plumping, doing it right over the top of the lip for plumping. So use it at the end of your treatment, seriously, instant sell. Do you use it with a serum? Yes, you have to have a serum. Anything that you've got a current with, you've got to have something on the face to conduct that current. And something with a lot of moisture in it. It's got to have a lot of water um, in it. So here's the little spot uh, party that I did the other day. I set this all up on my uh, counter there and I had four women and we just went through a little facial using the handheld pieces of equipment. I put a brand new Valero out in front of them and I had them open it up so that they knew that it was brand new, but they all walked home with it. They all purchased it. So, you know, there may be a chance you get someone who doesn't, you know, and you're opening up a brand new one, but to me it's just an instant sale. Now, all of these things, except for the glasses, I got at the dollar store, you guys. So you don't need to go out and spend a whole lot of money, because a lot of people say to me, oh, well, I don't want to spend a lot of money because I don't know, you know, charge them $15 to come. I even asked the ladies, they were kind of like my little, um, I, don't know, I, hate to, I always hate to use that word, guinea pig, you know, ladies, but I said, I need your feedback, and they gave me some great feedback, so I'm going to be making some protocols for you guys to do this. Because what happens with this also is one of the ladies that came emailed me directly afterwards and she says, I don't know if you're taking any new clients, but I'd really like to have a facial by you. She booked for next week. So if you just do some little parties like this, you have a friend bring a friend that doesn't know who you are. Now she knows who you are and she likes what you've shown her and now she might want to come get a facial with you. We've got to think out of the box. We've got to think of a lot of different ways that we can to bring in new clients.
one final thought. <laughs> That's miso. <laughs> you must be happy now to bring happiness into your life. It's a simple formula. Happiness attracts happiness. So I want to thank you all. Thank you all so very much. Thanks for joining Shelly today. Feel free to reach out to her with any thoughts or questions you may have. She hopes to see you again real soon in another Shelly Show and Tell. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.